Now, you can see that I am pretty dedicated to Cypher. I think he's the truth when it comes to Fortnite. I got here with 400 views. It's been a little bit since it was uploaded and I watched it before already, but I kind of want to like give my opinions on what he has to say. In five years, Fortnite's building mechanic will be dead. I've thought about this a lot. And by the end of this video, I think you'll be convinced too. This is the story of building in Fortnite. Fortnite started as a zombie survival game and it was in development for years. But the game launched and it wasn't that successful. It was even about to be canceled. So they had to try something. All the most popular games out there were battle royales. So they said, why don't we take the weapons and assets from this zombie survival game and make it into a battle royale? I want to comment that battle royale was only available to save the world players at first. It was kind of like a test run. I think a large part of the reason that Fortnite succeeded is because PUBG had not yet hit consoles. Consoles are still the majority of video game players. It truthfully, wherever consoles go, that dictates where gaming goes, where content creation goes, where streaming goes. It all kind of falls on the console people. Fortnite came at the right time, honestly. And the building mechanic, oddly enough, even though people get mad about it today, it appealed to people back then because it allowed you to traverse the map, you wouldn't lose a game just because you were downhill of someone. But the simple building mechanic caught on like wildfire and it really set the game apart. Well, in most other battle royales, it really rewarded camping. And if you were caught out in the open, you were pretty much going to get eliminated. You could still camp in a bush or hide in buildings. But now if you push out, you can naturally build cover. Or yeah, and I think this was the big thing that really made it succeed. And you see this with all the other battle royals now, how they have redeploy mechanics. What is it? Apex Legends. They have heroes that literally just like send you flying across the map, let you redeploy. That that was the thing I think that really killed PUBG is even to this day, the only way to get around in PUBG is vehicles. And the vehicles are really awful they're bad building brought in a lot of creative ways to play the game and there were so many different combinations including the editing system which was absolutely brilliant after some quality of life improvements like edit on release and turbo building i don't think edit on release is that big of a deal but i think turbo building is kind of what really changed the game and turned it into what it is now you, the ability to just hold down a button instead of having to click for each individual piece it meant that people could spam so much easier. Even a bad player can use 100, 150 mats in an instant. The ramp rush. But what happened if two players ramp rushed towards each other? This was the beginning of build fights. Two players use builds to put themselves in a superior position in a fight. Without turbo building, I don't think it would have gotten much further than this in terms of like skill level. Or let me put it this way the skill ceiling would be significantly less. People would eventually develop their typing, their ability to do strategies. Strategies would actually be a lot different too. But yeah, honestly, I think that's the biggest one and they can't really revert that either. To revert that would piss off the build players that are there already. You know, you can't really do them dirty just because they got good at a certain game mode. 90s, using ramps and walls and floors repeatedly to increase your height while moving 90 degrees every single time. Building is starting to get crazy. People actually start to grow resentment towards players that could build really well. Casual players felt like the sweaty players were ruining the fun. Honestly, I don't think you can really blame people for getting good at a game. They, if they enjoy games to get good enough at it the game should favor them right the thing is the actual mechanics of fortnite have created pretty much the highest skilled shooting game that's ever been created there's no game as complex and with as high as a skill ceiling as fortnite and i don't know what there really is to be done about that you can't really do anything about that you don't want to punish the good players but it makes it very unappealing for new players to want to learn building. This is when Fortnite competitive really starts to kick into gear and now people are actively trying to improve their builds. But the people who play after school or after work or only on the weekends, they just want to hop into the battle royale and hope for a victory royale. But here's the thing. If there's a sweat in their game, their chances of winning drops dramatically. We have box fights in the World Cup, faceways, retakes and build fights. Peace control being developed in early chapter two. And nowadays there's triple quadruple edits. The gap has not stopped getting larger ever since. This is another thing I put it down. I put it down on Fortnite creative. Epic Games was sending people mixed messages. They were making these items that were supposed to combat building, but creating systems to help people learn building 
faster. If there hadn't been creative, people wouldn't have gotten as good as they are as fast as they did. That's the real thing that killed it, is that people stopped playing Battle Royale for the spirit of Battle Royale, which is just to drop in, survive, kill, learn as you go. And they started taking it as a, as a discipline. This includes non-competitive players, where you have to practice every single day. You have to put in the hours. It's not even to win rounds. It's just to get reps up. Creative completely changed the mentality of the Fortnite community. And I honestly think it's one of the big reasons that it fell off. It's kind of crazy because Epic is banking on Creative 2.0 right now. But Creative 1.0 is kind of one of the things that killed the game now we have the competitive community who are players who are usually playing in the cash cups and tournaments some of these guys watch some of the old pros like mongrel and benji in the early days then you have the casual community who play a lot less than these competitive players and are more focused on the weekly content updates i mean that's a pretty important point that he made it's that all the people that compete now were kids when fortnite was, was at its peak they were 10 years old 11 years old now they're 13, 14, 15. They're able to actually compete, make money. You know, whether we want to accept it or not, in today's gaming landscape, content is part of the sphere of gaming. And if there isn't, I'm not saying popular creators, if there isn't entertaining creators willing to make content on a game, it's only going to expedite the death of that game. Because it's one of the things that keeps people invested. The thing about competitive Fortnite is it became unrelatable. For a content creator, you have to practice too much to play competitive Fortnite. You have to take it too seriously compared to other games like uh, Valorant or Apex. You can be really good at those games with a lot less time investment than it requires in Fortnite. Both of these communities are playing completely different games now. And quite frankly, it's impossible to balance for both. And even in a normal BR, they seem to be hesitant to add items that could be game changing or over the top. Let's be honest, the mechs are broken no matter what mode you're playing. I don't care how casual you are, bro. You cannot defend the original chapter one mechs. A lot of the new mythics, for example, are super safe, and it seems like Epic is trying to just put out items that sort of work for both modes, even though the reality is they fall short on both modes. This is another point too. All the mythics in the game, they are as good or less good than the legendaries. There's really no point to mythic hunt. Not only that, they bring back stuff like the crash pads. They're recycling a lot of stuff at this point. Another reason why it's falling off. Goo Gun is cool. It was good. It's been a month and a half since it came out. Let's put it that way. No Witch's Broom. Very weak Fortnite, Fort Nightmares update. They're not appealing to the competitive crowd, but they're also failing the casual crowd in large part, I think. Maybe they got the game modes that they enjoy, but in terms of content, new things, that's what actually keeps casual people coming back. Cause strains in the competitive community, and they have been very vocal about how they feel like they are not being heard or addressed. Obviously, they're taking the game very seriously. It makes sense that they want to be heard. They want issues and bugs to be fixed, and they want to feel like Epic cares and hears them so that they don't feel like all this time they invest into the game has gone to waste. I can finally talk about if nothing changes, Fortnite build mode is going to be forgotten now it's a controversial statement and i don't think build mode will ever be completely gone but it has certainly fallen off it doesn't have the eyes of the casual audience anymore fortnite is no longer at the peak it but it's not fallen off either it's just at the level of a normal game it's the same level as something like apex or warzone it's no longer a king game that's why they're going to focus on creative 2.0 they want to be a minecraft obviously He's going to explore this a little bit. Cypher's going to explore this. But within five years, it's going to be mostly a creative game. Think of it like Minecraft. That's really what they want. Or Roblox. Ironically, the thing that killed Fortnite may end up being the thing that saves it and gives it its second renaissance. I mean, Minecraft did get incredibly popular 10 years after its launch. So it could happen for Fortnite again. New players aren't playing build mode. I would say the majority, if not 80 to 90% of new players that Fortnite acquires are starting off in zero build and they are not touching build mode. The reality is zero build is a lot more approachable for new players and returning players with how good the players got in build mode. 
if you're an average or new player and you're in a lobby that has some serious builders you actually don't have a chance to win it's very slim people enjoyed build mode because it really even the game it made it fair but epic gave you too much ability to build honestly it falls on epic with their turbo building it falls on epic for not setting a build limit maybe putting a cooldown on builds putting a hard cap on the amount of mats you could have they were the ones who built the game so they kind of engineered their own demise on this one the real problem right now that he kind of illustrated is that there's no mode that lets you transition from zero build to build mode there's no low build mode no half build mode anything like that another problem with this is skill-based matchmaking too because if you do well at the game and you try to transition into build mode you're gonna come up against people that are already good at building because the game has a universal skill based it doesn't determine whether you're good at build mode or at zero build mode it just knows if you're good and that also hurts returning players too because you can never take a break with build mode if you let your skill slide skill based matchmaking has no mercy on you so it's kind of a weird thing i feel like with skill based it's always the person in the middle who suffers the pro is good enough to where they completely skew the skill based they can just dominate most people no matter who they fight the bad players they get put in bad player lobbies permanently so they never really have to ascend above that but everyone in the middle who's trying to get good they're the ones who really suffer with skill based who have that small chance that new players dream about but in build mode that hope has been crushed and because of this competitive is in trouble who watches competitive esports it's the players who play the game think about valorant or overwatch and when they watch the pro players they see some sort of resemblance between what they play and what the pro players play i mean i haven't watched a build mode tournament in a while i watched an fncs like part of it maybe a season or two ago but i just don't play enough build mode bro i'm not invested enough in the competitive format another thing too is that the open tournaments became very obtuse they're multi-round some of them are three round the format that they made this season i'm not going to elaborate into it for any player who's not actually on a team or not making money gaming already, there's no way to justify the time investment of trying to compete in Fortnite. Like, you already got to be making money. You already got to have subs on Twitch. If you don't have that income base, you are pushing a stone up a mountain trying to compete in Fortnite right now. It was the worst move Epic ever made. I don't know why they did it this the way they did this season. That connection is now gone. We had it in early chapter one but it's no longer present. And with less players watching competitive events, there's less players that wanna go competitive or go pro in Fortnite. Which means less money too. That's why the prize pools have gone down in Fortnite as well. Less viewers, less advertisers, less people vying for the pot. That's another thing too. These kids coming up, they're very passionate and they have a lot of time. So Epic at some point realized that they could just pay them less than they paid people in the days of Ninja, in the days of Tifu, in the days of Mongrel, all those really big pros. World Cup 2 could bring it back, but a large part of it is that there's no transition to build mode from zero build. And truthfully, all the personalities are gone from competitive. All the people that are competitive now are under the age of 18 mostly. And they're not, they're not the most fully developed humans. They get in a lot of drama that people above the age of 18 think is ridiculous and have no desire to actually listen to fortnite competitive has become a high schoolers game long and short of it but what about build mode in its entirety there is public matches that are meant to be casual so why is this building mode going to disappear new players are joining the game but most of them are going to zero build people are going to step away from the game when they step away their building skills will drop and when they come back they're not going to have a great time getting ranked on they're so far behind it's pointless to even try and build mode is going to disappear the real problem is that fortnite build mode on the highest level it's not casual like there's no way to ignore that there's no way around that it's not a casual experience if you hop into fortnite build mode you got to put in a work there's a reason they say putting in the work you're grinding because you you gotta do your best it requires the most work of like any shooter from you zero build is really the casual experience and i think in a lot of people's mind it's become the default fortnite experience 
I mean, it all it goes with the masses, and I think the masses have chosen. Can you get them to switch to build mode? I don't know. The question is, do they even care about build mode anymore? I don't want build mode to die. I truly think there are changes that can be done to build mode to make it more accessible for new players, but it would involve completely revamping the building experience. I played a really high skilled game when I was a kid. It was called Guns the Duel, and it had insane mechanics. Only a small percentage of the people playing in the entire world have truly mastered the mechanics in that game. For me, this was Quake, the uh, Unreal Tournament as well. Just super high paced, uh, very movement based. You gotta control the cooldowns and so, so, so fast. But eventually, the casual players in that game quit, and all that was left was just the sweaty players who were really good and playing against each other all the time caused all of them to burn out the game eventually got shut down same with quake i mean quake champs is still a thing but it's very very low key quake and unreal are pretty much dead i mean unreal was epic games they dropped unreal tournament to focus on fortnite so let that tell you something build mode has the same issue and the only way to save build mode is to reinvent it one of my ideas is that your builds actually have more hp when you first start building but as you start spamming builds if you spam them too quickly in a short period of time your 20th or 25th builds start placing with a lot less health i think fortnite is very similar to a fighting game a platform fighter one platform fighter that i've really been playing obviously i'm playing it right now is multiverses and i think cooldowns on builds should be a thing after you place your 10th piece or something there should start to be a delay it would encourage more defensive play uh it would stop the ping based gameplay because you would be able to wear people down with the cooldown you know the real annoyance for a casual player is that you shoot someone and then they instantly go up and you have no real way to reach them because they have height advantage and they can just shot shotgun you as you try to come up and Obviously, if you're not a good builder, you don't know how to protect yourself when you're going up. It's a problem that exacerbates itself. Cooldowns would fix everything. Another big issue is all the ping-related advantages that currently exist in builds. It turns away players who are playing on 60 ping or higher. Like me. But if I had the ability to pickaxe their cooldown out, just like kind of fight them for the wall. It said I never win a wall, bro. If you're above a certain amount of ping, you never win the wall. So you can't really do edit plays. You always get built on or you always get your box stolen from you. And it just, it becomes a frustrating experience. If wall taking, which is the main way you engage in a box fight turned into a actual mechanic instead of it relying on ping. The goal would be to make building strategic and actually rewarding because nowadays, if someone hits a really cool shot or play in Valorant or Overwatch, they get praised on Reddit, YouTube, and TikTok. But if someone posts themselves quadruple editing or doing an edit course and building really fast, they actually get roasted by the community. And it's not like we are a very toxic community. Fortnite, such a high time investment. If you post a clip like that, people know that you're in there grinding and you're not grinding in the battle royale. Most of us are never gonna be pros at this game, but so many people practice it like they're a semi-pro and that's what really spoils the fun of it because some people just take it too seriously and you can't ask them to take it unseriously when epic gives them the tools to get good at the game night we play today will look nothing like we play in five years maybe there'll be first person mode maybe it'll be in vr maybe there'll be brand new building pieces and new systems that reward skill while not punishing new players but if nothing changes in build mode it's slowly gonna phase out. New players are not really trying build mode. They're playing zero build or creative, and that's the end of the story. The Fortnite Battle Royale that we fell in love with in 2017 has changed, but other games have died because they stayed the same. So change is good, and I'm hoping we see more of it. Good video, good video, yeah. Uh, glad he made that. Honestly, I'm really glad he made that because I think the responsibility falls on everyone, you know? It falls on everyone. It falls on Epic Games. And, you know, he says that the Fortnite community isn't that toxic. I would disagree. Fortnite community is kind of toxic. They talk a lot of trash. And the thing is, they talk a lot of trash when the skill requirement or when the time investment is super, super high. People who have 
lives. People who have jobs, people who have family, they simply don't have the time to get as good as they do at this game. They'll never, ever touch even semi-pro level. And in large part, I think it falls on the general gamer too. I think gaming has changed. The uh, gaming audience has changed. They want easy wins. Let's be real about it. That's the complaint about skill-based matchmaking from both sides, is that unskilled players want easy wins and high-level players want easier wins. Zero build Fortnite favors the casual community and the casual community is just bigger. And because of that, the above average player just suffers. They suffer in, in build mode if they choose to play it. 